Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our third Sunday of the month evening of praise service. We're doing things a little differently tonight. Uh, I know that you can't physically see me uh, in this video. I'm hoping that you can hear me. Uh, I just wanted to have this simple image uh, of a communion chalice and patent uh, just as a reflective piece uh, for us to reflect on and pray for, pray uh, as we pray, something to look at. Um, but yet something simple and the reason for that is I want to prayer should be something simple It should not be something that's really difficult uh, to do or to have um, Or to be able to take time out of our day um, To actually pray to God we should be able to do that quite easily But often life gets in our way and, and things distract us uh, so I just want to as we begin this journey of the Lenten season, and as we're doing things differently this time, uh, there will be no music. Uh, it'll just be simply a time of reflection uh, and a time of prayer. Uh, and I'll be offering some prayers, but also some times of, uh, of some personal reflection, some moments of silence or where you can join with me at your home or wherever you may be seeing this video, uh, but also be reading some scriptures uh, as well. Uh, so this will be probably a short... 10 minute uh, service, but I want to uh, share with us exactly the importance of why we pray. And I want, want you to take a moment, take a deep breath, close your eyes if you must, and take a few moments to simply just let life go. Let every, all the distractions of life, all the things you're dealing with, all the struggles, all the pain, all the suffering, um, the stress of it all, just let it all go for a moment, for a few moments. Uh, and simply just close your eyes as, as you go throughout this prayer service, as you hear these readings of the Holy Scriptures, as you pray with me. Think of your relationship with God. Reflect on where your faith is and how it can, be, can grow stronger throughout this Lenten journey. So let us begin with a quick word of prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, let us pray. God, our Father, we thank you for your great love. We thank you for our families. And we open and we ask that you open our hearts to listen to your word, to praise you with one voice. And we make this prayer to you in Christ's name. Amen. And now let us be attentive to God's word. A reading from first, the first letter of John, chapter 4, verses 7 through 9 and 11 through 12. Beloved, let us love one another, because love is from God. Everyone who loves is born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God, for God is love. God's love was revealed among us in this way. God sent his only Son into the world so that we might live through him. Beloved, since God loved us so much, we also ought to love one another. No one has ever seen God. If we love one another, God lives in us, and his love is perfected in us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I invite you as I offer a petition, if you'll join with me and respond with these words. God's love shines in us. I'll, I'll say them as well, and I hope that you'll join me uh, as well. Please hear these petitions. When we act with kindness, God's love shines in us. When we share our time and talents, God's love shines in us. When we let others play with us, God's love shines in us. When we say good things about people, God's love shines in us. When we stand up for one another, God's love shines in us. When we are kind to our brothers and sisters, God's love shines in us. When we help our parents around the house, God's love shines in us. When we set a good example for our brothers and sisters, God's love shines in us. When we, sh when we show respect to our parents and teachers, God's love shines in us. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John, chapter 13, verses 34 to 35. Jesus said, I give you a new commandment that you love one another just as I have loved you. You also should love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another. This is the gospel of, of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus gave his followers a new commandment, to love one another. 
just as he loves us. This is how we show we are followers of Jesus, by our love for one another. We show we are followers of Jesus in our homes, by being patient and kind to one another, by helping instead of fighting and, being, and by caring for one another. Patience, kindness, helping, and caring are ways we show we are followers of Jesus. And these things make for a happy and peaceful home. We show we are followers of Jesus in our school by making sure everyone has someone to play with, by our kind words, by our respectful and by be, by our respect, and by our good example. These things make for a happy, peaceful school. These things make for a happy, peaceful life. Let us turn to now to God with all our needs. And I invite, as I go through each petition again like we did before, you'll respond with, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray. Let us pray for the church, that everyone who follows Jesus might grow in loving one another as he has loved us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the world, that God will, that God will give all his children in grace the grace they need to live in Christ's love and peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for people who suffer without love or without a family, that God will send them kind hands and hearts to reach out and to welcome them with the love of Jesus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for our families, that God will take care of our brothers, sisters, and parents, grandparents, and all our family members, and help all of us to live in his love and peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for ourselves, that each of us will grow as followers of Christ and make our, our, our schools and our homes and um, our extracurricular activities, our jobs, even time alone in the car. Let them be places of his love and peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all our needs, those in our hearts and for all those in our, in our parish community and in surrounding communities, in our state, in our country, and around the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And now let us turn to God the Father with love and trust, using the words that Christ taught us by saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us close our service tonight, a service of prayer, with these words. Lord God, we thank you for the gift of love that you have poured out on us in Jesus Christ, your only Son. Help us to grow each day as his followers, with great love for one another and great love for our families. May our growing love and kindness be a sign of your love at work in our lives. We make this prayer to you in Jesus' name, and may Almighty God bless us in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.